Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to get your notification and see who is on tonight, who's coming to visit and chat. Thank you to all of you who joined me live and on YouTube. I appreciate every one of you. I hope you've had a great weekend, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Hello, Roz, hello all of you. Tell me you're here. If you're new, let me know that too. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Hi, Marie. So nice to see you. Hi, Maria. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are all here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope, hi, Viola. I hope you're enjoying your catalogs. We've got uh, two minutes, a minute and a half before we uh, get started. So just saying hi to everybody. Um, let's see, a lot of you have emailed me. Hi, Marsha, or texted me, and hi, Florence, and said that you received your orders and that you're loving them. I'm so happy for you. I am so happy that you love your product. It is beautiful product. I, whatever you got, whatever it was, the perennial uh, postage, the uh, painted uh, lavender suite, all of it, the tool set I'm understanding is, I don't know the name of it, understanding that is very, very popular as well for men's cards. I see more popping on. Welcome, come on in. We're gonna get started in about half a minute. I've had an eventful Sunday. Um, I decided to, to splurge and style my bed. I'm so excited. It's not, hi Bev. It's not all done yet, but I went and bought a new duvet cover and um, new throws and shams and all the things that go with it. Hey, Marcia. And I'm hoping that it comes out really, re new throw pillows. I'm hoping it comes out really, really pretty. Um, we'll see. Um, it's my first time to really style my bed. I bought a big basket to put all the pillows in when we go to bed. Ken hasn't seen it yet. He's probably going to say, Lord, it takes five minutes to get in this thing. <laughs> you know, oh well. Um, it's seven o'clock, so we're gonna get started. Welcome everybody to Stampin' All Day with Bev. Hi, Jennifer, nice to see your name. I think you're new here, welcome. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Um, I am going today share my, oh, I didn't say it. Hey, Rako, I'll read your comment later. Uh, it just flew by, I didn't see it, Florence. Um, so today is all about, tonight is all about celebration. We all know that with a $50 qualifying order before shipping, handling, and tax, that it's celebration time right now, and that you can pick out an item. Hi, Annie, from the celebration catalog. Um, there's, there's a bunch that qualify for free if you have a $50 order, and then there's some other items that you can get if you have a $100 order. Hi, Barbara, and... Um, so I'm gonna work with two of the $50 qualifying um, items, and I'm, uh, well, I'll show you what I'm gonna work with. And I'm gonna put a little spin on one of the sets like I try to do. Hey, Claudia, so good to see your name here, welcome. Uh, I have a few signatures as I call them. You guys know that my favorite card stocks are basic white and very vanilla and crumb cake, right? Okay, we know that. So those are my signatures. I usually send out a very vanilla or a hi Louise or a basic white thank you card monthly. Um, my other thing is double bows. We all know that. In fact, I just got a cute, hey Roseanne, I got a cute text from Viola today. So I did it, I did my own bows and I did a double bow. I was so excited and happy for her. Um, see, if you just keep trying, you'll get it, you'll get it. And so now she's, um, proficient in making double bows. It was beautiful, beautiful card. She does beautiful work. And uh, the other thing that I love to do in my signature is um, I like to look at my stamps and see other things. Crazy. I was at my daughter's house dropping her off and I went in the house because she makes the best coffee. It's better than going to Starbucks or you're welcome or any other coffee shop. And I bought a bunch of to-go cups and I took them in there and I said, every time you come over, just make me one of your 
delicious coffees. So I went in there and while she was making my coffee, she has been standing this most beautiful buffet of hers. And um, laying on the table was this round um, sanding, a uh, sandpaper, it's round and it had some holes in it. My brain just goes to, I fold it in half. I said, Heather, this looks like a watermelon. And she's like, oh mom, you always see things. Hey Jean and um, see things out of things that you know have nothing to do with what you see. I said, I know, I'm hoping it's a gift, I like it. Hey, Tina. And um, so speaking of watermelons, we have this adorable watercolor melon stamp set that you can earn for free. I stamped with it the other day, the last time I was on and made a card that everybody really, really loved. Somebody won that, by the way, I'm gonna tell you who that is in a minute. Hi, Tina. And, uh, so that is the other thing I try to do. I try to teach you guys to get out of that little box you might be in and look at your stamps. Hi, Rita, and turn them different directions. Look at them in different angles and see if you can see. Hi, Debbie, uh, other things in them. Hello, Michelle, welcome. So let me turn you down and let's get started with what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna turn you around there we go and then I've got to turn your I know you're backwards there we go and hey Debbie welcome welcome okay I think hey Roseanne I think I have some new people here today so I want to make sure you know my name I'm Beverly Morales and that I live in Tracy California I have a January host code if you'd like to place an order with me after you watch my lives this is the host code you can use, and you can shop with me at beverlystamps.stampinup.net. You can also email me with any of your questions um, to, uh, to talk to me about how do I get a catalog and all those things, and also email me your email um, so I can put you on my list and you can see what's going on, okay? So that is my little bit of housekeeping. Here's a great big Beverly Stamps dot stampin up dot net. My daughter made that for me. Isn't that sweet? So you can see that real clear. That's my website. And then we have a winner for the last card that I made. Hello, Irene. Welcome. Uh, last live I was on. And it's using this watercolor melon free stamp set that you can earn with celebration with a qualifying $50 order. So this one, the only difference I use is most watermelons are red, right? This one's um, bubble bath. And I just shared how the pink and the black and the white, the classic colors, along with the watermelon looks so cute. Let's, and everybody seemed to love it a lot. There's the inside. And I also shared how it looks so good with the perennial postage dyes. So I'm gonna show you something else with these perennial postage dies that you may not have thought of. Um, that's my job, that's what I thrive on. I, th I think and think and think of things I can teach you guys um, to get your creativity flowing. So who won this card? The winner is, all you have to do is comment. When you comment, you're automatically in the drawing. Karen Kirshner, congratulations, Karen. We did not have that many people watching the last time I was live. So you guys had a better chance of winning. And hi, Linda. And Karen is the lucky winner. So I have now, I've been getting organized, ladies. I've got like the organizing bug. I've got these baskets of going in the mail. So this is gonna go in my outgoing mailbox here. And I will be sending that to Karen. Okay, watercolor melon. I know that um, you guys like to see the card first. Hi, Rosemary. I hope you're feeling better, hon. Um, I know you like to see the card right off the bat, but I'm going to tease you a little bit today because I want your mind to start thinking about what on earth else could you make with a watermelon? What else could you make? I've done it before. Those of you who've been with me for years and years and years probably already know, but I wanna share this because each watermelon set that we may have had in the past and that we may have in the future, you can make different, different 
um, things with it. Okay, so let's let's see what else I used. I used another celebration set for the um, sentiments on this card. I used enjoy your day and love you more. Um, so all celebration things. Then I used, so if you had a $100 order, you could get this and you could get this for free. You could choose these. These are $50 qualifying orders for those two. And then I'm using the Sunny Days 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. Um, it is so, so cute. It's bright. It's, look at these little suns. So cute. I love, oh, thank you, Marsha. Look at the real red and the white. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Cherries and I have a thing going on. I love cherries. Look at that paper. And then look at the backside. The little plaid there, such a pretty, pretty color. Um, there's more of the same. Then here, look at these bees. So pretty. I love the bees. And then the strawberries and the clouds. Just the cutest paper ever. Rainbows. And then more flowers. And then I already showed you the strawberries. Let's see what the back. Oh, that's the bees. And then the back of the cherries. Super, super cute paper. So I'm going to be using this. With what I used the watermelon stamp for, I thought this specific paper here went very, very well with it. So this item number is 162974, and you can earn that free with a $50 qualifying order. Okay, then I used, um, out of the uh, online, base, uh, online exclusives, I used, again, the basic 3D embossing folders. If you're... I know, Annie, they're so cute. Um, if you're new with me, I want to tell you that I try to repeat using the same things over because if you've ordered them, I just want to give you tons and tons and tons of ideas on how to use these, the things that you've purchased and how well they go with which things. These two, um, the polka dots and the little hashtag marks are the ones I'm going to use tonight on this card, but here is the item number for the basic 3D embossing folders. You get all three, and there is the number, 161598. These are ret retired, but they're black little dots, and I use those, these are my last four, and I like to use up my things, so if you've uh, ordered these and you still have them, it's gonna look really cute with this card. And then with this stamp set, Stampin' Up! points out in the catalog that the Modern Oval Punch 162234 works really well. It cuts out this watermelon and uh, this watermelon as well. Okay. I told you that I was using the perennial postage uh, dies. I took out the one that I'm going to use, and it's just the... It's just this one here. Let's see. How do I tell you what size it was? Show you them all. So you have the two large. So this is the third one down. And I've already cut it out, so I can put it back. That's the one I used. And it is bundled with the perennial postage stamp set. But if you'd like to, you could buy them separately. Did you get an order back when Stampin' Up! was giving us the thank you cardstock? I just grabbed some of that for my scrap cardstock to stamp on. And then I use the nested essentials. In the nested, nested essentials, I used the largest banner, this one here. And they're all stitched. Hi, Susan. And I use the largest rectangle, but the rectangles are rounded corners. So that's what I used with these. The other thing I like to do, I've been used these a while back. A lot of people ordered them. So I want to, again, give you more ideas on how to keep using them. Don't forget you have them. I'm using the Memento Black ink, the Real Red 
ink this time for my watermelon pumpkin pie and I need one more oh no black that's all that's all these are the three colors I needed I don't need a green for this watermelon it's just going to use black and red okay more classic colors all right so everything's in my basket right here so hopefully I'll stay organized and won't have to hunt for things the other thing I want to mention, if you guys are noticing that I have a new um, base that I'm stamping on right now, this is awesome. It's really, really thick. It's a piece of uh, pine, not pine. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's from a closet system that we, we dismantled. And I have two more. So if you're first come, first serve, you have to come and get it. I have two more. I saved them just because I love stamping on it so much. If you live in Tracy and you want to pick one up, just let me know and I'll give it to you. You can just have it. Hi, Crystal. Okay. Or Tracy, wherever you live, if you can get here um, and pick them up. Okay. All right. So uh, let's get started with my card. Here's that designer series paper I was talking about, the red and the white with the flowers. And this piece is three and a half by three. Let me see. I don't think that's the way I should start. That's not gonna be organized enough for you. I think I'm gonna show you the, the surprise first. Okay, so let's start with the modern oval punch. After I do this part, I will, um, I never lock these things and this is why for me, See, I locked it and I never, ever do that. I put mine away open and now I'm not able to open it. Shoot, there we go. I'm not, I'm just a weakling. All right, so here is that scrap paper I talked about. And, oh no, this isn't. This is a regular piece that I had out. So here is the modern oval punch and I just punched it out and then I turned it portrait style. Hi, Cookie! And then I'm going to go to my watermelon. Um, I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to need a bone folder. And get it just lined up even and fold it, fold it in half and burnish. Now, the minute you guys think that you know what I'm going to do with this, let me know. I like you guys to try to figure out what else is Bev doing with that watermelon. Here is real red ink. And I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to stamp on this half of the oval. And I'm going to stamp in the middle. So I'm not going to stamp way down at the bottom. I'm going to come up a little bit to the middle of this half. And then I am gonna give it some even pressure, hold the cardstock, and lift. Okay, so there we go. All right, now I'm gonna take the rind, but instead of green, which most watermelons you use green, I'm gonna use the Momento Black. See why I like this board so much? I have room on the side to keep my stamp pads and they're out of my way, but they're still close by. Are you making note cards? That's a good guess, but no. Nope. I'm making this image something that it's not is what I'm doing. So these are photopolymer. I'm trying to see if you're in camera and I've got to pull it down to me so I can get it lined up good. And I'm gonna stamp black as the rind. Hold my paper and lift. Okay, there we go. There is the black and I'm gonna clean off my stamp right here using my chamois. And then I will clean off the watermelon as well. Hey, Margo, hi, how are you doing? All right, I still need the black, so I'm gonna leave it now. And now I'm gonna take the little seeds, and I'm gonna show you something different to make with the single seed as well. So I'm gonna take the three little seeds and I'm gonna ink those up. Any guesses yet? Any guesses yet on what I'm making? Okay, tap, tap, tap. I wanna get these nice and dark. 
And I'm gonna put the seeds on the watermelon, but I'm gonna put them at a little slant like this, kind of sideways this way. Pressing down a face, no. Press and lift, okay. So then I'm gonna take the single one, flower pot, no. Um, my chamois. Then I'm gonna take the single little seed, ladybug, no. And the seeds are pointy at one end and rounded at the other end, right? So I'm taking the pointy end and I'm pointing it in this direction down towards the watermelon, the red part of the watermelon and stamping it like that. Basket of flowers, oh, that would be cute. No, that's not it though. That's a cute idea. Who said that? Florence. That's a really cute idea. Hmm. All right, now I'm gonna take the scrap paper again. I'm gonna let you guys eyeball that some more to see if you can come up with what I'm doing on your own. And I'm gonna go to the orange. Or it's not orange, it's pumpkin pie. How dare me call it orange. Pumpkin pie. Isn't it funny when we go shopping? And we um, see things and we say, oh, I love that real red top. Or, ooh, I love that pumpkin pie shirt. I mean, let me just go right here where there's just a little space. And I'm going to stamp, hi, Richard, Richard and Carol. I'm going to stamp that real off on its own. And this is kind of crazy. I have to cut this out with snips. And it's itty bitty, but it's well worth it. Let me see, I'm going to cut this off because I need these in a minute. I keep looking to see if anybody's guessed what I'm making here yet. And it's so funny because when I see watermelons, this is the first, well, after I think of watermelons, this is the second thing I always think of to make. This is so tiny. It's probably the hardest part of the card right here. I gotta concentrate. You guys know what I'm thinking, right? I've told you the story a zillion times. I'm thinking of my kindergarten teachers saying, Beverly cannot cut well. She needs to practice with scissors. <laughs> it's funny how those things stay in our head for our whole life, right? Okay, so I'm trying to, she was right though, look at me. I do have to concentrate when I cut with scissors, especially something this tiny. All right, so a drink, no. So now I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm just gonna put a little tiny itty bitty dot right there. And that's a little bit more than I really wanted. It's small, but it's not small enough. So when I want to get rid of something, I just take scrap paper and lift some of that away. There, see, it's fair, barely any there. And I'm letting it set up a minute. And then I'm gonna take my little orange seed and I'm gonna place it on that glue right there push it in a little bit now you guys might guess hi Kathleen now you guys might get it do you see what I've got here a chicken yes a chicken of course Bev made a chicken out of a watermelon of course she did <laughs> it's so darn cute you guys you just have to try it if you like chickens, I just think they're adorable. So here's my little chicken, but she's not done. She's not done. I talked about the perennial chickadee. Yes, chickadee. The perennials, when you cut them out, the little um, the little postage here is a little scallop that goes inward. But when you um, you're you're negative, then those little pieces come out, poke out, right? All right, so you can either do it in red cardstock or you can do it in white like I did. We have this little piece here. And I just 
put it on my red um, ink pad and I turned it red. So now I'm gonna take my snips again and I'm just gonna cut off an end and count two of these little, these little guys. And then I'm gonna go back to my glue. I froze on you for a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna lightly put some glue right there again. See that, just tiny, tiny, tiny. And now I need my silicone mat because I've got glue here. And I'm gonna put there and add it for my little chicken. What do you guys think? Do you think she's cute? I think she's so cute. Give me some hearts or some thumbs up or thumbs down if you say no, nope, not like that. <laughs> she is, I think she is absolutely adorable. Hi, Linda. Okay, so now, um, I'm gonna show you another thing you can do with these little seeds. Let's just put here, here, and you know what? If you just use them single, they rock and roll. They're so cute just to put on a little shelf in your craft room and, and look at them and, and be happy with. Now, remember the card that Karen won? Remember I did the bubble bath? It's so cute with those colors. Well, look at her. Look at her in those colors. Isn't that adorable? So you could just have this little family of chicks. They're just so stinking cute. I can't stand it. Okay, so let's, um, <clears throat> oops, let me put Karen's name back in here so I don't forget. All right, so now we've got our little chicken. I also, with the um, nested essential dies, I use the smallest banner Thanks, Barbara. And I cut that out in advance. And I wanted to show you something else you can do with the single um, C. Make sure that it is clean. I used orange last, I think. So I'm gonna make sure it's clean. I just used my chamois and I'm gonna go back to my real red. And I'm gonna ink this up, tap, 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 tap lightly because it's a small little guy. And I'm gonna lean it to my right just a little bit with the pointy end down and stamp it lightly, but let it sit there for a minute to soak in the ink. Then I'm gonna lift, I'm holding the end of the banner so it doesn't lift up with me with my pointer finger. And I've got one little red seed. Now I'm gonna take the same seed, tap, tap, tap. Hi, Stacy. And then I'm going to point it the other direction, pointy end down. So this one was pointing to the my right. This one's gonna point to my left, but I'm gonna overlap them just slightly and hope I get it right the first time. And hold it and then pull the paper and lift and you've got a heart. These seeds will make a heart. So we've got a banner with a chick and a heart. I just think it's so cute. So let me show you the card now. You've been so good and patiently waiting to see the card. Look at this. Look at this card. Now, the reason I'm holding this down, hi, Darcia, hi, uh, with, with uh, my thumb is because she flips open. So the love you more, from the other stamp set that you can earn for fifty for a fifty dollar order, so let's just say you do, you want all three of these things and you do one hundred and fifty, you get them all free. The two stamp sets I'm using and the DSP, and it's a workshop, so you get fifteen dollars free. I mean, really, it's it's the time, right? It's the time. So let's ink up the love you more. And I want this to be flat so I don't mess it up. Okay, check my stamp and then set it down on the inside of the chick. 
love you more. Now, my my uh, middle great-granddaughter, her name is Luna, and so her, it was just her birthday yesterday. So I made her a card, of course. And then, you know how we always say, love you to the moon and back? Well, her name's Luna, so I said, love you to the Luna and back. And they just thought that was so funny. They just loved that. So now everybody's saying, love you to the Luna and back. Okay, so there's our little chick that says, love you more. And let me continue on. I have a base card in real red. And it's five and a half by eight and a half. Fold it in half right in the middle and then use your bone folder to burnish. Okay, let me move her out of the way. And here is the celebration paper that DSP that I talked about and the largest oval with the rounded corners. But is not that sun just cock a doodle doo morning time if it's a rooster you know chickens the eggs the little sun it just totally totally works for me so i love that then i have another piece of real red cardstock cut at three and a half by four and seven eighths and that's going to be run using this folder from the basics because this folder reminded me of chicken scratch. Hi, Diane. So I just thought all of this really, really coordinates. And then look at those adorable, adorable polka dots. The country black and white ribbon, the little black um, baker's twine, just all adorable. And then when you open it up, you can use the big banner. Same, same, another heart. Enjoy your day. Isn't do you guys like this card? I think it's so cute. Okay, so let's run, let's use our folders and get my machine here. I need the polka dot, and this time I'm gonna call it chicken scratch for this piece and this piece. Okay. <clears throat> Here is my cut and emboss machine. Hi, Grace. If you'd like one of these machines, this is the code here. And I'm using platform number one, taking my real red smaller piece and the chicken scratch folder, lining it up on the black line. Right across there. And I, I mentioned last time somebody asked me, is that black line there something that you made? No, they're, they're on the folders. So you can just use them to line your things up, your paper, your cardstock, make sure it's straight. Um, I went to a crafts night at my church on Friday night and a girl sat with me that had never seen any Stampin' Up! product before and she was just amazed with the folders. Just amazed with the folder. She says she wants to come to open house and check it out. So there's the chicken scratch. And then here is the card base, but I only want the front to be embossed with the polka dots. So I have to do it this way. Now look at the polka dot folder if you have it or look at mine, if you can see well enough. On the ends there's half dots, okay? So I am going to put the half dots right up to the fold line as well as I can. And then I'm gonna fold this over because we have to put the closed end of the folders either in first or last. And so we need to fold the card base in half in order to get it through the correct way. Okay. So then we have our polka dot card base. Okay. While I have my machine here, let me change platforms. Now I need platform one, two, and three. My designer series paper with all the little sun um, suns on it 
and I want it to run portrait style. So I'm gonna cut that out. And it's got the darling stitching all the way around. Thanks, Debbie, I'm glad you like it. So let's keep these together. And then I'm gonna take the largest banner and I'm going to cut white cardstock. Get this over here. For the inside of the card with the largest banner. And then after I get this through, I'm going to cut again, same, same die. So here's the big banner, but I'm going to take the DSP that I love so much, these flowers, and I'm just gonna cut a piece because I don't want it to cover the whole white banner. I just want it to be towards the bottom. So let's do right there. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to put it on this one. I'm trying to save my top um, acrylics from getting so scratched up by using the bottom one for the dies to lay on and the clearer one on top so it doesn't get all scratched up so you guys can see better. Okay, so now we have a partial die which fits right on this one like this. Now I think I made it a little bit too big. If I did, I'll just cut it down. Okay, so do I have all my pieces? I think I do, so I can move the machine. Okay, now we can start putting things together. So I'm just gonna, let's look at the card. I was gonna put this down, but what do I have to do first? Thanks, Cookie. I try to use my lives as a learning um, time for you. So what do I have to do first? I have to go to my ribbon, which I keep in the strawberry cases and the ribbon coming through the holes so I can just yank and get this piece I need. Get my ribbon scissors. And then get a second piece, a little bit longer than the chicken scratch piece, and we're ready. Okay, so mini blue dots is the next thing we need. So here we go. Press it down and press it down and then the other piece and press it down and press it down. Okay, so now I'm going to push really hard so that the ribbon grabs those mini glue dots and pull them up one at a time, lay this landscape, and then just bring it around the cardstock, press, bring it around the cardstock, and press. Do that one more time. Thanks, Linda. I just love making chickens from watermelons. I've been doing it for years, and, um, it's, it never, it, it never gets old for me. I just think they're so cute. And remember I was telling you about the birthday party um, stamp class that I'm having this month on the 25th. She's a, Joellen's a country girl. So I'm thinking she's gonna love these samples when she sees them. And you know, her friends are all gonna, for her birthday, they're all gonna give her money to place an order with. So if she gets uh, $50, which I'm sure she will, she could get this stamp set for free, and I, I just hope that she's thrilled with that. So now we're gonna get my little layer piece. Where did it go? Did I drop it on the floor, my flowers? I didn't cut that one up, did I? 
I showed it to you guys, this piece here. Oh, good grief. What did I say the size was? I've lost it. So here it is. I got to get another one. <clears throat> Find my designer series paper. It's probably right in front of me, but I don't see it. So let's cut another one. Three and a half. Did I cut it the right way? Of course not. Let me see. No, I did it. Okay, so I want it to be a uh, landscape. So I have to cut it portrait. Three and a half. Okay. By four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. I still did it wrong. I still did it wrong. I did it portrait style. Let's see what it looks like. That is way too big anyway. Is that the wrong size? Oh, that was the card stock. Okay, ladies. I'm going to have to... There we go. I'm going to have to cut this one. Here we go. I got it now. This is going to go on the card base like this. Okay, so let me get my glue and put this down. Isn't that backside cute too? I just love this paper. Okay, and then this is going to get centered off to my left, but centered on the cardstock. Then we're gonna take the sun, all the sunny paper, and we're gonna place that down. Okay. And I'm gonna kind of line that up in between the two ribbons, like that. Then we're gonna take our little banner. And again, I'm only gonna put glue, I teach you this all the time, on the left, the left-hand side. And there's a little curve here, so that where it's rounded, so as soon as it gets straight, I just add the little banner there where the line starts to get straight. And then it looks really good that way. And you can see all the stitching, three lines of stitching that way. Then we're gonna take our little friend, her name's Cluck, and we're going to put her on the card. And I, again, I want the stitching to show, so I'm just putting the rounded part of her body right above the stitching there. Isn't that a cute little focal point, just, just like that? Okay, so now let's get the, um, little black, I don't know what they call them, I forget, but I'm gonna call them beads right now. And we wanna work with odd numbers, right? So I'm gonna put two on this top ribbon and one on this bottom ribbon. And kind of center it between these two Okay, and then she needs her little baker's twine. Thanks, Patty. Hi, I didn't see you. I just saw your name right now. I'm gonna get, now this is not um, a double bow this time. So I'm just gonna make a single. And then we put this on with mini glue dots around her neck. Oh, this row 
this uh, roll is getting almost used up. Have to remember that and get a new roll out here. Okay, and we're gonna just define her neck by putting that little bow there like that and then snipping off the legs shorter so you can see. Now I didn't explain, the little seeds that are sideways right there on her body, that's to um, kind of be her wing. So that's what I was thinking in there. I'm gonna make this little bows a little smaller. Okay, so there we go. Now we come over to our card and we lay it down. You hated cleaning the coop out, I bet. Oh, my daughter has chickens and she loves her animals though. Oh my gosh, my other daughter, I have three daughters. Heather is my oldest, Allison is my middle, and Jennifer is my youngest. Allison's son, his name is Michael. He's the one I've talked about before that's a farrier. He bought a basset hound and he gets her, it's a girl, he gets her tomorrow. Her name is Cooper. And um, I don't know why he named her Cooper, but he did, I think it's cute. And um, she is the cutest puppy. I know, I don't have pets, I, I've never had pets, but I sure think they're adorable. And um, she, oh gosh, I, they're just thrilled with her. So I'm happy for them. I do think that this is a little too wide, so I am gonna cut it down just a little bit. I like it a little smaller. And then again, what do you see? So we can't put it down yet, right? Well, we can put this down, but we can't put this down. So I think it's wisest if you stamp first. So I'm gonna take my black memento Tap, tap. Line up my banner with one of the lines in my um, grid paper. Annie, are you still on here? If you are, guess what? We have grapefruits again. So you come and get as many as you want. Anybody else too? And our grapefruits are very, very, very sweet. So they're not the sour, what you're thinking of normal grapefruits to be. So if you want any and you live close to me, you can come and get them. Get a whole tree full. All right, so we're gonna put this down. Now doesn't that make this banner so cute? Instead of, I mean, you could just leave it white, but look how much cuter. So we're gonna just glue this down. Okay, Annie, and you just let me know when you're coming on, coming over and we'll have a bag for you. Her husband, Dan, just loves them. So, every January they're ready after the first freeze. All right, so there we go. Now we need that darn cute black and white ribbon again. And we're gonna do it this, you know, I'm noticing that this is folded here, so I'm gonna cut that off. I want the full, full width of this. So I'm gonna cut this, there we go. Almost done. You guys are very patient. Press. Press. I had two of my girls here with me this morning. Allison was down from Paso Robles again. Um, she, her, her and her family ride motorcycles and hers was too high for her. So she had brought it to Tracy few weeks ago and somebody here lowered it for her. She's short like me. And um, she came to pick it up today. So she spent the night last night. I just love, I just love having my girls. And my other daughter will be home tomorrow, Jennifer. She's been on a cruise and she's going to get home from uh, Florida. She's spending the night in Florida tonight, but they went to the Bahamas and they had a wonderful time, her and her husband, Steve. So you guys know what I'm making now because you saw me do it earlier, make it another part. Is that crazy? 
that crazy that you can just make a heart with those little seeds? I don't know if you thought of that. Maybe you already had. And we're going to take the inside liner of our card, which is cut to four by five and a quarter, and take our glue and get this down. And we're done. So this card is gonna be up for grabs. All you have to do is leave a comment and you will randomly be placed into the drawing. Remember that the deadline is coming up for my card, card class in the mail. Um, I've been working on all the projects that will be sent to you. And let's see, so there we go. So I'll leave one open and one closed. Make sure my stamps don't get any extra ink on there. And then, oh, what an adorable card, Viola says. I'm so glad you guys like it. Thank you, Marcia. Oh, thank you so much. There she is standing up so you can see her a little bit better. And I always like these little bit of interactive, you know, moving little things, little flaps, that type of thing. I just think they're fun. So thanks for being here. We will see you. Wow, you learned something. Thanks, Roseanne. You learned something new with you all of the time. Oh, thank you, Annie. That is my goal. Love those chickens, Debbie says. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you all for being here. Have a great week. If you want one of these uh, wood desktops, let me know. If you want some grapefruits, let me know. And we will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.